And I will tell you in the practical classwork how to apply these principles in the kitchen for the benefit of the family's health. Now I want you to take particular notice of the way in which milk is used in cooking. Future Australian wives and mothers are being given priceless knowledge in the home science schools of today. In this classroom, typical of the fine schools distributed throughout New South Wales, cooking is taught as a science as well as an art and emphasis is placed on milk, the universal food, basis of sound nutrition. Just try to imagine, for example, what would happen if we were suddenly deprived of milk. Think of it, a world in which there is no milk and no milk products can be obtained. Now, don't be long, will you, dear? No, all right, Mother. Oh, where's the shopping list? Here it is. Goodbye, Mother. Goodbye, dear. A tin of condensed milk, please. No condensed milk, I'm sorry. Oh, haven't you? Want well, some powdered milk? No, no powdered milk either. Heavens. Well, I'll take a pound of cheese. Oh, no cheese, no. My goodness. Well, what milk products have you? We haven't any at all. They're all finished. But surely you have some butter, haven't you? No, no butter. Oh, bother. What, no milk drinks? Well, could I have an ice cream? I'm sorry, they don't make it anymore. Well, could I have a cup of coffee? Yes, so long as you don't want milk in it. Dawn, what are you dreaming about? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was dreaming about there being no milk. Then I'm sure you realise now how dreadful it would be. Recess time, girls. The next period will be in training kitchens. Recess time provides an occasion for the girl to drink milk in the best surroundings. This is the way in which healthy, vigorous bodies are made and youthful minds are kept alert. Relaxation in bright, sunny surroundings with plenty of fresh air gives these girls the proper background for the enjoyment of sensible foods, which include wholesome sandwiches, fresh fruit and, most important of all, milk. Physical fitness goes hand in hand with education. with your practical cookery, I propose to tell you something about milk in cooking. One of the happiest things to say about a country is that it is a land flowing with milk and honey. Milk is a most important food. Does it seem strange to you that a drink should be called a food? Nature's perfect food is a drink or beverage called milk, and this milk contains the various nutritive constituents in the correct proportion for the growth and correct functioning of the body and for the development of bone and teeth structure. You know that a baby lives and thrives on milk alone, and although you need other foods as you grow older, milk is still an excellent food for all, and should be included in the diet of young and old, as it is invaluable for balancing a mixed diet. Young people should take at least one and a half pints of milk daily, and adults one pint. Not all of it is a drink, but some in soup, sauce, puddings, or cakes. This amount may create a problem, especially in a big family. However, there are certain economies which can be made. For instance, skimmed milk may be used. This milk retains all the ingredients of whole milk, except the fat and the vitamins contained in the fat. But if ample fat and vitamin A are supplied by other foods, such as butter, skimmed milk may partly replace whole milk. The essential characteristics of milk make it much more than a commodity, indeed one of the basic requirements in civilized diet, and it is to be regretted when people are unable to include enough milk in their foods. Food, as you know, has three main purposes, which milk fulfills. One, to provide energy and heat. Two, to repair the wear and tear of the body, and in the young, to provide growth. And three, to provide substances which control the various processes of the body. Milk contains the following food constituents. Water, which supplies the body with the liquid that it requires. Protein, which builds and replaces the fleshy tissue of the body. The protein is very easily digested, which makes milk a good food for invalids, as well as healthy people. 
The proteins in milk are of a very good quality and are the most valuable proteins there are for building and repairing the body. For the growing child, they are particularly suitable. If we think for a moment, the reason for this becomes obvious. Milk is provided by nature intentionally for the growth of the young calf. Sugar to give the sweet taste to milk and give you heat and energy. Heat appears as cream if milk is allowed to stand and gives your body energy. Milk fat is easily digested fat as it is in the form of a very fine emulsion. The mineral content is extremely valuable to the body because milk contains large quantities of calcium and phosphorus which form strong teeth and firm bones. Milk is a rich source of calcium, which is necessary for the normal growth of children. Inadequate diets are liable to be deficient in both lime and phosphorus. Milk also contains the minerals potassium, sodium and magnesium. Vitamins A, B, C, D and E are ones that help to protect the body from certain diseases and they control certain processes in the body. You can now realize just how valuable a food is contained in that glass of milk. We all know that with most foods there is a certain amount of waste, as the shell of the egg or the bones of meat and fish, but with milk the whole of it is useful for food. Be careful with milk. Keep it cool, keep it clean, keep it covered are three simple rules for the care of milk in the home, which the housewife should observe, because while milk is such a useful and pleasant food, unless the greatest care is taken, it can easily become sour and unpleasant, because milk attracts germs very quickly. Therefore, the greatest care must be taken in handling and storing it. The milk jug, or vessel which should be wide-necked and uncracked, needs to be perfectly clean. Milk should be protected from flies and dust, and kept away from foods with strong odours. Here are some foods in which milk is an important ingredient. They include custard, junkets, sponge sandwich with milk filling, and milk beverages of many kinds. Vegetable cream soups, milk sauce for steamed fish, and salad dressings are other avenues for using milk. Milk can be used in foods also for infants, children, invalids and convalescents and it may be added to other foods to improve their food value. These are only a few of the uses to which the cook can put milk. You have probably thought of many others. You will see that milk, the best of all foods, can be included in a variety of appetizing dishes and thus add to their nutritive value and attractive appearance. Australian people should be very thankful that they are able to obtain a plentiful supply of milk and the substances which are manufactured from it. And yet the Australian consumption of milk is low compared with that of other countries. If we make the use we should of these foods in our diet, we have no need to suffer in health as the people in some other countries do. Well, anyway, she uses very little makeup. She says milk keeps her skin lovely too. She may do. There she is. She has a beautiful figure and she's full of energy. She told me it's because the vitamins in milk give you real health. Doesn't it make you fat? Goodness, no. That's an old piece of nonsense. Why, athletes and models keep slim on it. This one is a physical culture student. That must be pretty strenuous. Yes, but she drinks milk, and she told me that she never feels any strain from her work. She looks nice, doesn't she? Here's another one. She keeps perfectly strong and healthy on milk, and she's a picture of real vitality. You have to be strong to do this kind of work. And her figure shows you what milk can do to keep you at the top of your form. This boy told me he drank two quarts of milk a day during training and he didn't put on a single pound in weight in three months. Well, goodbye, girls. I'm going to ask Nan to buy extra milk after this. Oh, so am I. Me too. Yes. And so I'm going to have as much milk as you'll let me, Mother. Why, dear, we'll be glad to buy you as much milk as you like to drink. That's right, sweetheart. You drink milk and plenty of it. Good night, darling. 
They're making fine women out of our girls, Mother. They are indeed, and I'm glad I'm modern enough to profit by what the youngsters are learning. 